I'm gonna do a quick little review over energy recharge, okay? So lots of players actually try and run energy recharge just to recharge, quote unquote, recharge their elemental skill ability, all right, unquote. Now, that does not work, and let me show you guys why. So right here I have Bennett, right? Look at his, that's four second cooldown. It's only a cooldown. There is no energy being recharged. Literally zero energy. Now, where does the energy recharge come from? Right here, follow my mouse. This is the energy recharge. Right, this right. Oh, sorry. This right here is energy recharge. The Q is energy recharge. Okay, which is why it's very much imperative to put energy recharge on characters that rely on the ultimate cooldown. Okay, the ultimate ability. Ultimate abilities always have cooldowns. Every single ability in this game, every single thing in this game has a cooldown. However, what refreshes the cooldown and what replenishes the cooldown is different. Energy recharge gives you energy and energy is specifically attuned to your ability for the q yeah, all right so energy introduces the amount of energy regenerated with each elemental particle and elemental or retained okay the higher the value of the number the more energy is regenerated exactly so the more hits you hit all right every single hit you get like okay let's do a multiplier okay so every single hit you get one x orb and particle okay whatever uh the more energy recharge let's say what do we have right now i have uh 8%. So I get 8% more energy on my orbs. Let's put it that way, okay? Essentially, that, that's what it means. So that means instead of it costing 100 odd attacks, it'll cost me freaking 90 something attacks or some shit like that, right? That's how powerful the energy is. And then we have 20% right there, right? We didn't even factor in that much. So it's, it's, gonna, t it's gonna take us less attacks to get our ultimate ability back. That's essentially what it is, okay? So do not fall for the uh, ill, for, for, the, for the bad, bad, bad freaking info on this because that is not how elemental energy work. Okay, elemental energy, I mean, sorry, energy recharge. Elemental master is something different, totally different, totally different. It just, it just applies to the um, reactions, right? And the uh, ability and the elemental damage that you deal, but energy recharge is for only your ultimate ability. Okay, so this guy right here, Bennett. I saw a video earlier today uh, about some guy talking about the uh, builds for characters, and I saw the build for Bennett, which was somewhat accurate, except for the elemental recharge. You never want to run elemental recharge on him unless you plan on using his ultimate a lot, which is for support specifically. Personally, I don't think he needs any sort of support whatsoever. His ultimate flat out does a ton of freaking ab uh, assistance for your team. It gives them a chunk of HP that scales with his maximum HP. Regeneration scales by based on Bennett's max HP. Half of the half of the artifacts out there literally give you wonderful uh, 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 HP. The freaking flowers give you a ton of HP. If I would, if I bothered to literally level this thing up, I'd have over like. 2,000 HP from this thing. Like how much HP? Yeah, right here. Level it's level eight. A level eight blue gives me 2,000 HP. This scales for every single rarity. Okay, regardless. Now the stats are different. Okay, but per stars, per scale. Okay, that's how it works. That's all it is. All right. So do not be fooled by the uh, by the lack of misinformation out there. I guarantee you, there's more misinformation out there than there is accurate information because people are just doing this for, for freaking money Th this game is practically a money fountain for youtubers out there who have the partnership and whatnot but i just want to tell you guys right now do not fall for the misinformation you want to check it all out for yourself okay where, where is he elemental recharge i mean energy recharge is specifically for orbs where what do orbs do for you what do orbs do for you you ever play the ar7 route and you have amber right let me see you ever play the AR7 route, okay, and you play Amber. During the Amber dungeon, you have to shoot these vines, okay? When you shoot the vines, you get these orbs. Those orbs specifically relate to your ultimate ability. They don't give you any cooldown, okay? They just give you ultimate ability recharge. That's why it says energy recharge. What happens when you recharge your phone? Battery goes up. Does the cooldown of your freaking voicemail go down? No, you have to go through that whole... Hey, you have reached blah blah blah, thank you for calling. Please leave a message after the beat, right? No, no, it doesn't work like that, okay? You need to really be able to understand the game mechanics. And half of it is literally in here. It's literally in here. It's just a question mark. 
and lots of it is is common sense okay pyro damage you deal bonus damage pyro resistance you have pyro resistance all right healing bonus well how does that factor into actual healing oh uh well there's both healing incoming and there's a flat healing bonus right you heal more and incoming healing bonus you heal more per by percentage right they both go hand in hand. Same thing with crit rate and damage. Crit rate, you have more chances to crit. While crit damage, whenever you do crit, the damage is amplified by that much of a percentage. Right? It's it's plain and simple. Words are easy as long as you understand it. Right? And it's easy to understand if you just literally read. <laughs> and relate. Obviously relate. You gotta relate. Okay? Going back to the energy recharge. Once again, energy recharge recharges by the orb potential. Sorry, potent. Shawl, potential, potency, okay? How strong the orb that you receive from the energy recharge percentage will dictate how fast your ultimate ability will uh, replenish, okay? That's essentially all it means. That's literally all it means, okay? So please, 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 you know, no one's joined me learn the game. Don't the trust ages. the YouTubers. They are literally stupid. I guarantee you the majority of them are freak. Don't, they're literally talking out their asses right now. Right, um, but yeah, the majority of the game is really fun. You just want to really, I, I swear to you, please, 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 just know how the game works. Okay, I don't want you guys stacking freaking. <laughs> I really do not want you guys stacking the wrong artifacts on the wrong characters. Okay, you do you know why Keqing gets prefers to have Berserker because she gets an inherited bonus of freaking crit something, it's somewhere around the lines of crit whenever you ascend her. Same thing with uh. Uh, oh, I forgot his name. Xing Chu got like um something out of it. I don't remember what it was though. Ugh, I just ascended him earlier, but it was something gnarly, really ridiculous. But oh my god, I cannot believe it. I cannot believe the mis the amount of misinformation out there is ridiculous. In as in business, you always have ridiculous. The they don't like read, it. and it's literally free money. Oh, oh crap! I just killed myself. Well, anyways, yeah, so that's practically what it is. Uh, oh, this is... Lucky. Anyways, <clears throat> yes. So, essentially, that's really all you want to do. Read, okay? It doesn't take much long to read, right? All you got to do is put it into perspective, that's all, right? I don't know how much more clear I have to be, but... Um, yeah, definitely, 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 definitely pay attention to your builds okay don't follow the guides unless it actually works for you if it works less than what you had previously then that means the youtuber or whoever the frick you just followed is talking out their ass okay peace